Welcome to this historic Ann Arbor Public Schools 2020-21 school year. I'm so very grateful that you are here with us together on this Ann Arbor Public Schools team. In the more than 100 years of rich Ann Arbor Public Schools history, we have never experienced a back to school quite like this one. In the 160 days or so since we closed our buildings back on March 13th, we have continued to navigate the uncharted waters of this COVID pandemic. A very unsettling time for all. In fact, our current reality is that we are in the midst of not one, but four historic crises. The COVID-19 virus, the worst in a hundred years, is insidious in its assault on our local and global community. COVID has laid bare inequities of race, class, health, and accessibility to quality health care. While we have all been affected by COVID, the impact of the virus is starkly disproportionate. Hispanic and Black children are five to eight times more likely to be hospitalized than their white peers. African Americans are three times more likely to contract the virus and suffer approximately five times as many deaths. The stark realities of racism in our country, a national inflection point, uprising and reckoning with the insidious infection of bias, bigotry, and systemic racism in our country. We understand that this reality of systemic racism is an ugly truth that we must face and reckon with in our schools as well. Recently, Vice Presidential nominee Kamala Harris articulated powerfully, there is no vaccine for racism. We've got to do the work. We have work to do and we are committed to dismantle racism across our Ann Arbor public schools system. An economic crisis impacting many, particularly children and families, widening already existing socioeconomic inequities. This spring, the number of households with children who weren't getting enough food due to a lack of resources surged and the escalating and undeniable impact of climate change. Certainly, we are living through hard times. As educators, we are accustomed to finding the sunshine in the situations we experience. Putting on a positive face and rallying our students no matter what we face. After all, we work with children and we want them to learn resilience. However, as we begin this school year, it is important to recognize the feelings that we may be experiencing at this time. Feelings of grief and loss, anger, isolation, and loneliness. In a recent Washington Post article, Time to Ditch Toxic Positivity, journalist Allison Chu shares that accepting negative emotions rather than avoiding or dismissing them may actually be more beneficial for a person's mental health in the long run. Psychologist Natalie Dadalo concludes, recognize that how you feel is valid. No matter what, it's okay not to be okay. During this time when so much is uncertain and frightening for so many of us, 
let's all agree as a team this year that it is okay not to be okay. Hi everybody. This year I am feeling hopeful and anxious to get things started. I'm looking forward to the 2021 school year with anticipation. As we consider this coming school year, I think it's safe to say that we're both feeling a little bit anxious. Yeah, we're definitely both feeling anxious, but especially since it was announced that we're starting remotely and seeing the planning that's going into this year, we're also both feeling pretty hopeful. Yes, definitely. Although we're gonna be doing a lot of work in the next couple of weeks, I can really see how that can have such a long-term and lasting impact uh, in terms of accessibility and equity for all of our students. Whether we are virtual in a hybrid model or face-to-face -face eventually, I think that this work is going to have an amazing long-term implication for our school. So we know it's gonna be a challenging year, it's gonna be a crazy difficult year, but I think we're ready for it. Rather than pretending that all is well, at this time of uncertainty, at the beginning of this 2021 school year, let's focus instead on those connections that will carry us through this hard time. Connections with students and families, our adult to adult relationships on this team, and the student to student connections that are vital as we learn and grow together within this Ann Arbor Public Schools community this year. Perhaps today you don't feel connected. Let's propose that we will reach out. We will make the effort to connect each and every one of us. We will see each other. We will hear each voice and through those connections, we will grow stronger as we walk this 2021 path together. Maya Angelou said it this way, I've learned that people will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. The network, safety net, and strength of the connections we forge will support each and every one of us through this school year. We must resolve that we will care for ourselves, we will care for each other, and we will care for this Ann Arbor community that we are so fortunate to share. We are committed to support you I know that you will make a powerful difference in the lives of children and families through the connections that you grow and build. I am so excited to get back to school. I really miss my kids, um, but I am feeling really overwhelmed with the idea of managing things online as well as trying to create and maintain connections with kids. Um, I know that this is going to be a challenge of year, but I'm also really, really hopeful that everyone's going to come at it with a positive attitude and I'm super excited. So hopefully it goes well. I, I'm so tired. I'm so tired already and school hasn't even started yet. I've been prepping as much as I can to get teachers ready for this school year and I'm worried that even though I put all these hours into it, it's still not gonna be enough. I want everybody to have a good launch. The difference we will make during this 2021 school year is about who we are beyond the four walls of our physical classrooms. Our sense of purpose and place, a safe place for learning and growing together transcend location. We are each and every one powered by human connection, and we will connect and change lives for good, even while we are physically apart. One um, worry that I do have about the upcoming school year is that I'm a little worried about some of my students who are going to have parents not in the home to help them with 
some of the content that may be difficult. So I figure I'll have to, instead of staying after class, I'll have to stay after on Schoology to offer additional support to those students that will need it. Um, and I hope that the parents um, are expecting a phenomenal year, um, a challenging curriculum, and awesome connections um, with students and teachers this year. I'm excited. Well, there's so many things that I already miss about the start of the school year. I've been so overwhelmingly proud and inspired by the way that we've all come together to support each other. Curriculum redesign teams, support teams, and how the culture of our teaching has already made such a huge shift to sharing and supporting each other virtually. That's what I'm the most excited for this year. We're gonna keep working hard and know that we are in this together and we'll lean on each other as we already do in so many ways. Have a great start to this school year. While so many things about our lives and work have changed since March 13th, our critical mission in the Ann Arbor Public Schools remains ever the same. Every child, every day. I am confident that together we will navigate the uncertainties of this school year. We will find our way forward despite the challenges we face. Thank you for holding each other in connection, in care, and in community. And thank you for your support of the Ann Arbor Public Schools. I'm thinking about how much I will miss getting to see and welcome our students in person in our school buildings on the first day of school. Um, for me, it's more than three decades that I've been doing that and it's um, just the best day of the year. I know we'll find our own uh, unique joys in this opening this year and yet I am missing that moment of magic in getting to welcome them.